Lucky here, and welcome back to the Cherry's Rise. This is episode number six, and today we are facing off against Liverpool at home in the Barclays Premier League. In previous matches, uh, in, the la in the last episode, we beat Leicester 1 0, was it? It was Leicester 1 0. The Dean Hamming got something, yeah. And after that, we continued a great run throughout the whole of January. West, we beat West Brom away from home, which is a rarity because away from home is quite a hard step for me to take from FM because I can usually usually takes me a while to get used to it. And at the moment, it seems like we're starting to have to finally hitch it because we won one against West Brom. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we went again, went away to Norwich in the Emirates FA Cup. Emirates FA Cup sounds like a ski ball. Uh, we took the lead through Callum Wilson, but we gave away a penalty in the 78th minute, and a few times we've been called. Uh, Equalised to earn a replay. Then we came up against Newcastle, who are really outdoing themselves this season, and we drew 1 1. Callum Wilson getting us off to a great start again before moving to Soko. Equalised game, and Newcastle had a point. We didn't play well in this game, to be honest with you, I'm surprised we even managed to get a point because Newcastle were the better side from the word go. Zambrano plays for them now. No one else really stands out. Uh, then we had our replay against Norwich in the FA Cup and Rack Ritchie getting us the goal to put us through to the FA Cup fourth round. Lightwood got injured. Again, injury, injuries galore, man. It's injuries galore. I love it. And then we went to the Emirates and played Arsenal. And it did not go well. You could say it could have went well because we got a goal. But... 44% possession, Arthur dominated Sanchez in the 35th, Ramsey in the 40th, Giroud in the 69th minute, Mark Hugh getting one back, but it was too late. Arsenal with Conor Polanka, no one else really shouts out for them. But hey, they've got Sanchez, Ozil, Wilshire, you know, they've got great players. In the final game, before we go on to the Liverpool game, we faced off against Wigan, League One side in the Emirates FA Cup fourth round. 1 2 1, but it to be honest, for a League One side, they played really well. Scott Carson, who's just now moved, I believe, in real life, just gave us the lead for an own goal. Before Mark Hugh giving us a goal two minutes after half time. Martin Waghorn getting one back, but it was too little, too late. So they faced off against Liverpool. Uh, we still got a couple of injuries. Not injury galore anymore, but you know, we've got internationals and everything. But Liverpool, Liverpool at the moment. Piss poor, to be quite honest with you. I don't know how Brendan Rodgers is still in charge. I could say that in real life as well, to be honest with you. In ninth, we're in the 14th, 25 points. Quite a way away from relegation, to be honest with you. Chelsea, Man United, Newcastle, still battling it. I think my family wants to be in YouTube videos. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but anyway, uh, I think I had to talk about Newcastle, and Chelsea, Man United. We've still got Sunderland Palace and Villa in the relegation zone. West Brom down there as well as Leicester and Norwich. We are eight points away. Looking like we could avoid it, but you know, we've got a, about 16 games to go. But let's get into the game then, shall we? Oh, actually, before we get into the game, I have a transfer. It says, like, thing here, one transfer, but that's a lie. I signed Branko van der Boomen from FC Eidenhoven. I believe, if I'm correct, they're in the Jupiler League, which is like the second league of. What's the Jupiler League? I can't remember the Jupiler League. It's like the second tier of. Holland, isn't it? Yeah, second tier of Holland. Right. Yeah, I signed him. He, his stats look incredible. He uh, Potentially, he looks like a key player for us in the future. But statistically, he looks fantastic. Uh, here we go. 14, we got 14 11s, we've got 17 determinations, great passing, that's fantastic. Can't wait to get him back. He's doing really well out in the Jupiter League on loan now because he was went sent back out on loan for the rest of the season. And yeah, alright, let's have a look. Uh, I'm just looking at the cup game, so I played a couple of uh, young ones. I've actually registered Lee Camp now, even though Borough is, uh, is back now. I'm going to play Lee Camp for one more game because his match fitness is a bit low. Who else have we got then? Charlie Daniels starting to come back now. I'll put him on the bench. So it's playing. I'm going to put Bakayoko on the bench. Uh, Kieran Cl 
Ja, ich bin Ine, bin in der Bitcoin Bar von der Bench, also Luca E6, so ich habe Pitman von der Bench, Williams, ich habe Harry Arter on Eliza Wood. Uh, what else are we looking for? Burak, Kieran Clark, Baka Yogo, Goslin, Lighterwood. I don't know if we need Lighterwood, you know. We might. Who else could we bring on? We could bring on Harry Kane. Do you know what? We'll leave it like that for now. And just hopefully we can go. We need to control it from the start. I'm not going to go attacking. Liverpool, even though they are ninth, they're a good side. And we could uh, be able to catch them from a break very, very, very quickly. I don't know who they signed, by the way. I have no idea. I haven't looked any of the team's real signings from what I can tell yeah oh well Emmy had Chan still there so Salah lock on Balotelli Alexander Pato ok Brandon Coutinho Moreno Henderson James Milner Raheem Sterling Sacco Skirtle not even gonna bother Mignolet Bolton Lovren Lana Origi Allen Ashley Williams is it and that is that and Zazi, 27 years old, he plays Liverpool, Palermo, just give a random one in it. That's Liverpool, signing random people, as per usual. Uh, right, we want to close down Pato and Balotelli, we also want to keep him on tight lock. And go in hard on Balotelli, try to frustrate him, because I know he likes to get himself in a bit of a fuss. Over nothing. Why always him? Well, I'll tell you why after this game. Tell the players they can enjoy themselves, they've got nothing to lose. No way! Let's go around and give them a fair chance, man. Let's go. We've got a chance. It's they're only ninth. We're 14th. Oh, shite. I took the wrong one. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Mark Hugh. I just took the wrong one. It's not my fault, pal. Right. Come on. Let's hopefully win this game or get a point from this game. Because, I mean, a point would be nice. A win would be better, obviously. But, I mean, if we lose, we lose. Hello. Oh, wow. Wow. I have never conceded that quickly, ever. It's not even a tad, tad touch of the ball. Well, that was bloody ridiculous. Oh, my God. That was honestly mad. 20... What? Even... Uh... Christ, this isn't going to be a good game, is it? We're going to get smashed, aren't we? Balotelli. Yep. Pato. Great. 1 0 down with 16 seconds gone. Sick. <laughs> Great. We're not going to get a good one, are we? We're going to get a complete battering. Which I don't want at all. Fucking hell. 1 0. After 16 seconds, right, we'll get Francis on the ball now. Stanislas. Pew! Is it offside? It's not. 1-1! Oh, Come on! That's more like it. Yeah, fuck you, Pato. Bastard. <laughs> 16 seconds, he's still mad. I can't believe that. Nice pass by Francis. Lovely ball in from Stanislas. And Pew hits it on the volley. Lovely little stuff. We're starting to get ourselves into the game now, a bit, it looks like. Oh, we've got yes, well done, Stoke. Luca Pia's on place for them now, okay? A bit random. You're playing really well now. Was that goal just a stint for Liverpool or not? Because, I mean, we look like we're doing alright. The possession's quite even. Pato. Cook, mate. Oh, my God, not already. Oh, my God. Are you joking? Oh, my fucking God. Arta, you go there, pal. Simon, you go there. We'll bring Clarky on. Fucking hell. So we can't really do anything else. We don't want to be in the Champions League 1 and make a ball winning midfielder because now we're down to 10 men. Thank you very much, Steve Cook, you bastard. Well, I'm probably going to go and counter in a minute. In, sa in fact, I'm going to do that right now because we're never, never going to win the game now. Going down to 10 minutes against Liverpool. Fucking hell. Great. Cheers, Steve Cook. Your pal. Balotelli. Yeah, well done. More, the less said about that, the better, let's be honest. Oh, fucking hell. 
Sigurds is weird, isn't he? Oh. Yes, fuck you, Baz. Ali. How about that? That's Ali, then. Why are we here? I don't want to fucking go in and on. Destroy you. That sounds really wrong, but oh well. Origi. Origi. Christ. This game can just go from bad to worse. I can see it. Can't piece it out. Who's there to get it? Wilson. Matt Ritchie. Oh, what was that? Christ. Pato. Oh. Well, that was piss poor, wasn't it? That was really... Wilson, why are you stopping? Stanislas. <gasps> oh, Mignolet. Christ. Well, bloody hell. Highlight after highlight after highlight for you. Oh, that was poor again. Skirtle. Oh, what a ball. What? Wow. Pato, mate. What was that? I'm getting double highlights there. Triple highlight. Was it, was it the triple highlight or the double? I wasn't really taking notice. <laughs> well... If we can go in one and a half time, I'll be very happy. Yeah, no shit. Because, I mean, oh well, Jinx. Jinx, Sterling. Well, I jinxed myself, didn't I? <laughs> if we can go in a half time, one one, well, it's not happening, pal. Not happening. Two one to Liverpool. Sick. <laughs> Good ball in there. Sterling. But yeah, that wouldn't even look like it is it. That looks like it is me. Christ. Well, that stuff's 2 1 down. Thanks. I'm gonna. Do you know what? This game is just gonna get blamed on Steve Cook if we lose, okay? Blame Steve Cook. We're gonna have to boycott Steve Cook now. He's not playing ever again. Hashtag, hashtag Cook out. We've been really unlucky. You know what? I can say. I can. Yeah. Yeah, let's say that. I think we'll go with it. Yeah, assist it. Yeah, do hell. I don't think Harry Arthur's gonna be too happy about getting subbed off at 22 minutes, is he? We're probably going to get an email after this match saying, Why did you do that, you pleb? Daniel is the pew. Well, this is going to be 3 1 now. Oh my god! Socrates. I was going to say, is, is it just Socrates? Because I'm not saying there's like an executive name. Great, 3 1. Whoop de fucking do. Great. Fucking fantastic. Well, it was going to happen. Thanks, Steve Cook. Cook out. Hashtag cook out. Kieran Clarke. Well, if we're just going to get dominated now, aren't we? It's going to happen. If we lose the pen get a penalty now, we get a penalty and we get Pep Milner. What a save. What a save by Lee Camp. Man of the match. <laughs> Man of the match. <laughs> Not a chance. All right. I mean, there's nothing we can do now. I mean, we could probably go on control, but we're with 10 men. It's not going to happen, is it? If we could have control, the possession... Well, actually, I don't know. The possession's looking all right, though. Right, let's make a change. Oh, he's having a shit one, then. Charlie Daniels, let's bring on back at Yogo. Let's bring on... Matt Ritchie on the right and bring in J. Emmanuel Thomas. Just not get many games anyway, but fuck it. Yeah, let's go. I'm not going to win the game. Unless we can put in Istanbul. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Going to lose 3 1 4 1. Lana, penalty. Penalty. It's going to be a penalty. I can see it already. Coutinho, 4 1. Sick. <laughs> Steve Cook out. Steve Cook out. Fuck's sake. This isn't going to go well for confidence, and the fans aren't going to be too happy either, are they? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen to me? Why? Fuck you. Fuck Christ's sake. Why does this happen to me? Oh my god. Well, yeah, no shit, Luke Williams. Shut up. Thanks, Stoke. Could have used you earlier. Emmanuel Thomas. Saka. Mess up. Mess up. Mess up. Your mess up. Mess up. <gasps> Clarky. Joe Allen. Pato. 5-1. Isn't it? 5-1. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Our goal difference is going down the drain. God's sake. Pato. Coutinho. Origi on the fucking volley as well. That's what I feel. Yay. 
love it. Down to nine men and we're getting smashed. Hashtag Steve Cook out. Hashtag Physio out. Yeah. Fucking 5 1. What a piss poor result that is. Think you're too harsh on the players. Fuck off. You. You're out. Where are you? Where's, where's Steve Cook? I can't find him. Hey. You're going out. You're done. You're done for, pal. You're done. Uh, you're done. You're just done. I'm not happy. Fucking Steve Cook. Yeah, right. What's well, Steve Cook struggle to get back in the team from Rick Hmm. Yep. Fuck off. Hashtag Cook out. Christ, are we down now? We just got battered, didn't we, really? All other results went down. Sporting fucking Lisbon brought Sheraton attack from Real Madrid. Good luck. Can't believe we lost that game. I bet Steve Cook's fault, man. What other results went down then? Oh, Chelsea drew. United won. Sunderland 3 1. Oh, and Newcastle lost. Wow. Yeah, fucking fury. Well, fuck off, Brendan Rodgers, you get. <laughs> Should just be a knob and fucking yeah, screw you. You're a bad person. Yeah, kiss my ass. <laughs> right, schedule. Next game we're gonna do is the Aston Villa game away at home. It's probably a relegation battle anyway, so why not? Hopefully we can get through in the Reading or Leeds game in the FA Cup. But for now we'll do the Aston Villa game. Then we'll probably do the Chelsea game. And then we'll end it on Man City unless we get to the FA Cup final. Which, I mean, looking at it, it's probably never going to happen unless we sign like Messi. But anyway, I'll leave it there for now. I hope you enjoyed this demolition of Bournemouth. <laughs> uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment. Tell me how I can improve and I'll see you all. Later.